Hey everyone, it's Ryzen here. And Liz. And welcome to whatever the hell this show is going to be called. I, I don't know yet. If you have suggestions, I'll take them. Um, anyway, so first game we'll be previewing is uh, New England at Buffalo. And uh, New, New England wins. That, that's seriously, New, New England wins. If there's one team the, the Patriots routinely whip, it is the poor Bills. They are, for some reason, despite being better talent-wise than the Jets, consistently get swept. Unless we give them a game, like we did three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. Or when, you know, the third-string quarterback is playing with one hand. Yeah, that happens. But, uh, Buffalo did look good last week, but it's Kansas City. Everybody's looked good against them, except for us. <clears throat> anyway... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Casey fell off a cliff. It's weird. But uh, uh, injuries could be an issue uh, for the Patriots. They did lose quite a bit of players to injury last week against Miami. Uh, Brady was on the injury list, which I'm not surprised. He was He's hit. off it now. He's off it now. But he was, he was hit, uh, I think, eight times in that game. Uh, but that's because Miami has... Um, a good edge rusher in Cameron Wake, and then they have uh, a good interior as well. So that's how you get success on Brady. Because otherwise he just steps up if you just got, like, you know, Denver with Von Miller. He just steps up. But uh, uh, defensively, Buffalo is not the same not they used the, to be. That they used to be a few weeks ago. And I expect the Patriots to have a lot of success in their passing game because Buffalo ranks pretty poorly in their passing attack, or in their passing defense. I think they're like 24th or 25th. And uh, uh, as far as uh, the Patriots defense, I expect them to keep Tyrod Taylor in the pocket, at least try to. Because he is a mobile quarterback. They've had problems with that earlier in the season. That they did. <laughs> the first four teams. Significantly <laughs> prop, significant problems. Especially with um, Alex Smith. They had a lot of problems with that. But uh, my guess is they're going to run a lot of defensive end contains. Uh, try and keep Tyrod in the, in the pocket. And uh, they're going to try to force him to throw. They'll probably stack the box. So that Sean McCoy can't run the ball. Uh, McCoy's still a pretty good running back. But uh, Bills have a terrible passing offense. Of course, when they have almost no good receivers left since they decided to trade Sammy Watkins for some stupid reason. And isn't the guy they just and got... Hogan. Well, they didn't, got they get, of, didn't they just get Benjamin? Isn't Luna, he hurt? Could you, could you not eat the light? <laughs> that is funny. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't look up Buffalo's... Tra list. Travis Benjamin? Yes, he is injured. I think he's on the injury he's, list he for them. Yes, he is injured. I think he's the only good, besides LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn well, McCoy is good. I don't know the names um, of anybody else on their offense. Micah Hyde on their defense has been pretty good this year, which is just bizarre. I mean, he I was never, on... I the... never thought he was any good, but he's got five interceptions this year. I mean... But, uh, the problem with them, the Patriots needing to contain Tyrod Taylor is that they have uh, a really crippled linebacker core right now. Uh, you have Trevor... Riley on the injury list. I don't think he will play. He had a concussion. More than likely he, he probably He wore won. a red shirt in uh, practice, which is non-contact. Uh, Kyle Van Noy's on the injury list. I suspect he will play. Uh, if he doesn't play, they're in a lot of trouble because he calls the signals. I don't know who would I don't if he know doesn't. who doesn't. I don't know who Rob doesn't. A lot, Landon Roberts, maybe? I don't know. Probably. Um, Marquise Flowers is injured. That's a problem as well. Uh, because the Patriots, defensively, they like to use their outside linebackers as, as edge rushers. Because they really don't have good defensive ends. Outside of Trey Flowers, who unfortunately is also injured. Although, I suspect he will play as well. Uh, Hogan will not play. He's already been announced out. That sucks, but uh, it's expected. And who else was? Cannon. Uh, Cannon. Marcus Cannon. Got ruled will not out. Get out. Well, it's still ruled out. And unfortunately, the offensive line is another issue because I don't know if Lee Adrian Waddle will play. My guess is no, which would put Cameron Fleming in there. Fleming is 
not terrible. He's not great. He looked really bad in the few snaps he had last week. But he's also like the third string. But right. they've also used him a lot. Yeah, he's like the third, third string. Third string right tackler, right? He's the emergency option. Yeah. Uh, he, he was good in those six offensive line formations that they did, but putting him at right tackle, I don't know. Uh, the good news is he's right next to Shaq Mason, who's their best lineman this outside year by, of Marcus this, Cannon. This year by far, yeah. And Cannon, I suspect, will be back within a week or two. I think he's just, he has a bum ankle. Yeah, he's got a bum ankle. That's what that's what hurt Waddle, too. Waddle might play. It would be nice. okay if he plays, but I don't know how much longer they need him. Yeah. Um, obviously, special teams, the advantage goes to New England because... They have an actual good special teams. I mean, they did lose Nate Ebner last week <laughs> they did to, lose, to a yes, knee injury. We don't. Lose. Nobody knows what it is because they haven't announced what it is. But he's it, not on the injury list, which is bizarre. Um, but he was placed on IR. But I know. think he was placed on IR. But I haven't actually seen it. I don't know. We don't know if he tore his ACL I, or his MCL or. His, I think his, he tore his ACL. I'm they not haven't. Sure. They haven't announced it. So. But Slater should come back. At this some, week at or some next point, week, so. yeah. It's not a huge loss to lose Ebner. It sucks, but it is what it is. He's, he is replaceable. That's true. Uh, but losing losing Kyle Van Noy would be the biggest issue. I think it would be, and too. And losing Trey, Trey Flowers would be a big issue. Fortunately, Deatrick Wise has been pretty good, other than some discipline issues. He has, <laughs> he has issues not hitting the quarterback after five seconds, after he's thrown the ball. But uh, other than that, I think he's going to be a real monster when he develops, but... He is in his rookie season, so... Yes, he is. He's, he's been very, he's been very, very good. good. Uh, and the Patriots got seven sacks last week. I don't know if that's a mirage or if suddenly they're Denver's pass rush. I don't know. Does Buffalo not... have a good front seven? Uh, they do not. They rank in the middle of the road. I, actually, I think they're near the bottom of the AFC for sack total. So Brady should not get as much pressure this week. What about their offensive line? Buffalo's offensive line, is it good? Uh, I don't know how many sacks they've given up. I didn't look that up. Um, but really, since Taylor's so mobile, it, it kind of mitigates it anyway. But hopefully they'll be able to contain him. Uh, my guess is, since it's Buffalo, New England will crush them, like they always do. Unlike Mike Reese, who thinks it's going to be a very yeah, close Mike score. Yeah, Mike Reese it close. I don't know why. But I, I'm, I'm going to go New England 41, Buffalo... Uh, let's go, let's go, uh, uh, I can't even think of a word. Seven, ten. 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 I'm, I don't I'm know. I'm going to complete blowout. I don't think it'll be a complete blowout because I think the Bills still have so, a little bit of it in them. So I, I would say maybe closer to like, I don't know, 38 to 17 or something. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be a total blowout. I still I think expect, the Bills, I, I still think the Bills will give them a little bit of a I problem, so. but I, I, I think overall that our team is just better, much better, much better. And our defense is really starting to come together now, I, despite the injuries. Yeah. I mean, we've got the two best the corners. Is good. We've got two good corners two good now. Corners, and I think uh, Gilmore will they've been playing better and will, consistent, but he's been better as of late. And Gilmore's playing since he came out. back from his injuries, he's been lights out. So and McCordy and Harmon are playing better. Chung's playing good. The secondary is real good. I expect the secondary to be excellent, yeah, especially if they have that pass rush they had last week. But the goal is to force Taylor to throw because when he throws, he throws interceptions well, usually. He's not the most accurate quarterback. <laughs> so that's the main goal. Yeah, the goal force is him to, to make throw. Him throw, and they'll be okay. Otherwise, they won't be. And, but I think next week against Miami will be a significantly tougher game. Uh, Buffalo, they just, historically, they just crush for whatever reason. Brady's had his way with them for 10 years now, so. But well, actually, when, like 18. But when they have to go to Miami, yeah, they have always, all, except always last year, they always have problems. Yeah. Last year, they were, beat them pretty bad, I think. The good news is, looking ahead for New England, is they really don't, have, they, they can afford to drop the Miami game if they go into Pittsburgh and win, assuming they win uh, Sunday against Buffalo, they can they can then defeat uh, Pittsburgh even if they lose Miami, and that would give them the head-to-head -head tiebreaker and the same conference record as Pittsburgh. So as long as they then went out from there, which if they make it through that point, the last two games are pretty easy. much meaningless, right? Well, they're not meaningless, but they're they're easy wins because they play um, the Bills Buffalo the, at home, which and, is and the Jets at a win, home. and the Jets at home. 
Uh, Jets away is tough. Jets at home. Nope. New England crushes them. They yeah. usually every year. Oh, usually pull them out. So, uh, uh, the other thing is that they're in a big road stretch right now. But the Patriots have played good on the road for the past two years. Uh, they've won 13 straight. So, I think the record's 18. But so they're they're well on their way to getting a number one seed. As they just gotta be gotta Pittsburgh. Come down to that Pittsburgh game in all likelihood. Of course, Pittsburgh is too busy looking ahead to that game, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see. I suspect Pittsburgh will have trouble against Baltimore, but who knows. So I guess that's, that about covers it. We'll, uh, we'll leave this one here. We'll recap the game once it's over. Sunday afternoon. Yep. And uh, go from there. It's rising. Endless. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Go Pats Nation.